Hi there, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Travel and Live Free. In this video, I'm gonna talk about four of my favorite airports ever and also four of the worst airports that I've ever visited. And that video is gonna come up right now. Okay, starting with the first airport that I really love and that will be the Rio de Janeiro Airport. So I got a chance to go there during my one year trip around the world and I was very impressed. The airport was well organized. If I needed to exchange money, I was able to do just that. If I wanted to lock away my stuff so that I can go sightseeing in Rio de Janeiro, I was able to do that as well. The immigration process went pretty smoothly and once I was in the air side of the airport, I was able to go to the lounge and the lounge was fantastic. Probably one of the best lounges I've ever stayed at. They had a shower in their lounge and I was able to take a shower before departing for my flight. Second on the list for our favorite airport of all time is the Vancouver International Airport. So the YVR Airport, I actually never got a chance to really appreciate how good this airport is until I got back to Canada after my one year trip around the world. After going through immigration, seeing the nice green slash teal color of the airport and there's tons of lounges to go check out such as my favorite which is the Plaza Premium Lounge. This airport is definitely one of the best in the world. It's also easy to get around and there's no huge problem whenever I go through immigration or having to pick up my check bags or whatnot. Third on the list is the Singapore Changi Airport. So to no surprise, everyone knows the Singapore airport is one of the best in the world. It's a beautiful airport, it's very clean. The only thing I don't like about it is that they're a little bit strict when it comes to bringing liquids into the flight. I remember they got me to take away my contact lens solution because it was too big. But other than that, the airport is very well organized. It's easy for you to go from point A to point B. I mean, the airport is pretty huge, so it could take a while. But otherwise, because of how well organized the airport is, it's still easy to find your way around. They also have one of the best lounges I've ever went to. They have dim sum in their Plaza Premium Lounge. And this airport is definitely one of the best in the world. Fourth one on the list is the Montreal Airport. So this is the Montreal Pierre Trudeau International Airport. And I got a chance to go there about two years ago, back in 2019 and I just remember that this airport was very well organized and it was easy to get around again the same reasons as the other three airports they have really good lounges I remember I stayed at the Maple Leaf Lounge in this airport and they had some good food and they had some good workstations as well so if I needed to get some work done it was easy for me to find a space to get some quiet work done. So overall, those are the four airports that come to mind that I really thought was a good airport. Now, in terms of bad airports, I also have a list of four for that. First one on the list is Romania. So the Bucharest airport is one of the worst airports I've ever been to. It was so stuffy in the airport, I couldn't breathe. I was sweating like a pig and the airport was also very inefficient and it was hard to navigate to go through the air side of the airport. Once I was in the air side, it took forever to get through to finally board a plane and fly out of Romania. So I would say this airport is one of the worst airports I've ever been to in the world. Second one on the list is the Antananarivo Airport in Madagascar. This airport is so corrupt. The moment I got out of the airport, someone is already extracting a bribe from me. Every single damn official in that airport and every single person working in the airport was trying to extort me for a bribe. I hated this airport. I gave none of those idiots any money. So screw all of them because you ain't getting a penny from me. On my way out of the airport, I got food poisoned the night before and I was dying. So even though I was crawling on the floor dying, some asshole was still coming up to me asking me for a bribe. Well, fuck you. You ain't getting any bribe from me, you piece of crap. Third one on the list is Cairo Airport. So actually the airport in Luxor and Aswan are pretty good. It's the airport in Cairo that is horrible and it's because of the amount of individuals that's trying to scam you. Every single person in this country of Egypt is trying to scam you and the airport is one of the worst culprits for that. The scam just never ends. The moment you get out of your airplane, someone is already trying to scam you. After clear immigration and now you are on the land side, someone is out there trying to scam you with a taxi ride. They also have really terrible lounges. I remember I went to one of the lounges in the Cairo airport and it just sucks. I don't know what to say other than it sucks. Fourth one on the list is the Ho Chi Minh airport in Vietnam. So Vietnam's airports are usually not bad. So I went to the Hanoi one, that's pretty good and the Da Nang one was also not bad but the Ho Chi Minh one oh my god the customer service in this airport is horrible I dread going to this airport I actually told my girlfriend when we arrived in Ho Chi Minh that expect them to be rude to you and that's exactly what happened they were extremely rude and unfriendly in that airport so it's sad to say because after you clear the immigration and now you are on the land side then the customer service there is actually quite good so it's actually just the immigration side that's extremely unfriendly extremely rude and it's annoying because if you go to Da Nang or Hanoi it's actually not as bad so there you have it those are my 
my favorite airports in the world, as well as some of the airports that I think is some of the worst in the world. If you enjoyed that video, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your comments below, and don't forget to sign up to our Travel Free newsletter, where you can get a 10-step cheat sheet on how to travel around the world. You'll also get daily tips and strategies on how to save money on travel for Canadians, how to go on around the world adventure travel for Canadians, and how to use travel to get more freedom in your life as a Canadian. You can sign up for the newsletter in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you then.